Okay, this is a quick video tutorial on how to take a cassette tape and audio from a cassette tape and burn it into your computer either as a WAV or an MP3. I'm using a program called Audacity, uh, which is a free program that you can download from their website. Uh, this is really a good program for doing um, easy recording and things like that and it has some effects. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is set our inputs up. Now if you go to this part here, right next to that little microphone, you'll get a couple of selections. Uh, I've got a headset, I've got a built-in microphone, uh, display audio. What you really want to do is use some type of audio interface. I'm using a Behringer UM2. Um, probably a Behringer UC222 is a better audio interface to do this. These things are pretty cheap, they're $29 and they have surprisingly good specs. They're, they're really good for this type of thing. So I have that audio interface and then I've got a, a, a tape deck with the proper cords going into that audio interface. So I'm going to choose that audio interface here. All right, And I'm going to choose stereo because I want it in stereo. And then I'm going to choose uh, the same audio interface for the output. Uh, you can choose any output you want, really, but it's easy, easy for me to do that. So anyway, first thing we want to do is take some levels. So let's go ahead and play the tape. All right. And then you want to click on this click to start monitoring. And you can see there's a little noise. That's just the leader going over the head. This is pretty far down in the, in the dirt. Once the music starts coming in, we'll, we'll start to see this thing pop up. Okay. Now I set these levels on my particular box. You set the levels on the box. On the UC222, you actually set the levels on this on the um, on the software, and you use this this slider here. The slider is disabled with my input. So you want them fairly even, and you want them peaking out around minus six, plus or minus. I, you don't want it much over much over minus six, just because. Um, when it peeks into the yellow, it's fine, but when it peeks into the red, you're going to start getting noise. And uh, noise is bad. Uh, it'll, it'll start to clip. All right, so those look pretty good. So let's go ahead and take that. I'm going to rewind my tape. All right, now let's go ahead and do a test recording. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit a record button here, and it's going to start recording. That's okay. We'll clip that out later. We'll clip the silence out later. Now this is really zoomed in, so I'm going to zoom out, and I like to use this minus magnifying glass here. So let's zoom it out. There we go. So we'll keep an eye on this, um, on the waveforms, make sure they look nice and balanced, and they do. Everything looks pretty good here. Let's get about a minute or so into this song. Let's just go back and make sure that everything sounds good before we go running through the whole tape. So hit the stop button here, stops recording, stop my tape deck, and then you can just move the cursor to wherever you want. Uh, so I just go here, and I'll just go play. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds fantastic. So we've got a good setup here. Let's go ahead and let's go back to, uh, oh, we can undo record too. All right, let's go ahead and rewind the tape. Get to the beginning of this tape again. Play the tape turn on the recorder, and away we go. Okay, I've finished recording here, and I've got one, two, three, four, five songs. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let's, we can go and check it real quick, make sure everything sounds good. Yep, works great. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So let's save it as a, uh, we'll just save it as a project right now. And I will come and throw this in my this guy here. We'll call this I am Japan. I am standing for Iron Maiden. This is a tape uh, that I've had f probably since the mid '80s, made in Japan. So then let's go and so now we've got this saved. So at least if we screw up something, we don't we don't lose all the work that we've done. Let's go ahead and put the cursor back here. 
zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut out all this dirt, all this, all this silence. The way to do that is just go in here, drag and highlight. Click, drag and highlight. Then you can go to edit, delete, or you can just use the delete key. Let's zoom back out. The other thing I'm going to want to do is I want to normalize this volume. So this is a, so let's go ahead and select all here. Select all. Oh, there's select. I'm sorry. Select all. They changed it on the newer version, I think. So I've got everything selected here. And now I want to, what to do is go up to effect and choose normalize. Now normalize is good because what it does is it takes the the highest peak and it peaks it, it moves, it amplifies the whole waveform up so that the highest peak is at zero. Um, this is better than compression. It doesn't do, doesn't do any compression, doesn't do any clipping or anything like that. All right, uh, you can remove the DC offset. It doesn't really matter. I mean, for for this application, we don't have any DC offset. DC offsets are usually from bad recording devices that have some hum in them or something like that. Uh, normalize the peak to minus one dB. That's fine. Uh, I do not want to normalize stereo channels independently because I want to normalize them together. Otherwise, we would end up with uh, the stereo channels wouldn't be balanced, and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and do that and click OK. And it'll go ahead and chug through and do the normalization. And what you'll see is you'll see the waveform expand up. This is a nice thing. So when you put it into iTunes or you put this on you know, your MP3 player, it's going to have similar volume to the other things that you have on your MP3 player. I'll wait for this to finish. Okay, and you can see everything expanded. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out all this, this quiet at the end. You can see you can actually see where I turn the tape deck off here. You don't want that. So we'll go stop here. And maybe a little bit more right there. And then we'll just go to edit, delete. All right. Go back to the beginning. Zoom out a bit. All right, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and export this. We'll save it again. Just so we've saved our work. And then you can export it. So you have a few choices here. You can export to MB3, WAVE, AUG, whatever. Um, I usually like to export to WAVE because you don't lose anything in quality. All right. And here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, put this over here. We'll put this in the same. Let's see, where's my Audacity stuff here? Let's go, let's do this by movies, Audacity tutorials, Iron Maiden Japan. We'll just kind of save this thing here. All right, so we can go ahead and add some titles here. So we'll call this Iron Maiden. Uh, this is just one, this is the whole show. So we'll just leave that blank. Album titles, Made in Japan. Japan, EP, year is 1981, I think. Let me look at the, yes, 1981. And this is most certainly not bluegrass. Heavy metal, okay. And it's gonna go ahead and export. You can export as MP3s as well. I think you might need to put a plugin into Audacity to do that, so we'll, uh, Maybe cover that in another video. All right, so that takes care of just doing a real simple recording. Uh, next video, I think what we'll do is we'll cut these up into tracks so that you can play it on your MP3 player.